Seek direction from God every single day. When you put first God, seeking his guidance daily, a transformation occurs. Your life will be forever changed. Today, you are encouraged by a comforting message. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Proverbs 3, 5-6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. So, it's not about knowing the way, but knowing the one who knows the way. There's a twist. It doesn't happen automatically. It doesn't occur so easily. It is essential to do it intentionally while embracing your heart to God. In Matthew 6:11, Jesus instructs us to pray, give us this day our daily bread. Every day offers a fresh chance to connect and ask, Lord, what is your plan for today? Or, Lord, what direction should I follow today? It's akin to possessing a guiding force that consistently directs you toward your true path. Recognizing our uncertainty while having faith in his guidance is the initial step toward discovering opportunities we were previously unaware of. Allowing God to guide our lives is like the act of trusting another person to take the wheel while we sit in the passenger seat. It involves relinquishing complete control and placing trust in God. We aren't attempting to handle everything on our own. Rather, we are relying on God, for he understands the path more clearly than we ever could. This brings to mind one of my cherished Bible verses, Jeremiah 29:11, which states, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Through our faith in this promise, we discover true peace and freedom, assured that God is leading us to the best outcomes for our lives each day. It is easy to create plans for our lives and then simply wish for divine approval. This method may misguide us. It's akin to Noah attempting to construct an ark without divine guidance. It simply wouldn't stay afloat, would it? Let's shift the perspective. Before making any decision, whether significant or minor, why not seek guidance from God first? If you recognize the guidance of the Holy Spirit and feel a sense of peace within, then you are ready to proceed. If there is discomfort, it might be an indication to pause. Recall the moment when Abraham received the command to depart from his homeland in Genesis 12, per 1. The Bible states, Now the Lord had said to Abram, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. Abraham lacked a road map, yet he possessed a profound peace within his heart. He trusted in the guidance provided by God. It is essential to pursue a daily connection with God. It revolves around ongoing companionship. Consider this. Would you rely on last week's news to grasp the current state of world events? No, you would not. In a similar manner, our connection with God is established through daily and at times hourly dialogues. It's essential to maintain that channel of communication. Seeking God daily brings us clarity. Life is full of choices. Some are trivial, yet others hold the power to alter the trajectory of our existence. Making these decisions can feel quite daunting. By consistently seeking guidance from God, we acquire insights that transcend our human comprehension. He offers us a distinct viewpoint directing our journey and making certain that we follow the path he has established for us. Every day's challenges are approached with a new word from him, directing us towards decisions that resonate with his plan. Consistency in any relationship fosters intimacy, my friends. Allow me to emphasize once more, consistency in any relationship fosters intimacy. As we deepen our connection with God, we gain a greater understanding of his nature, his love, and his intentions for our lives. This proximity fosters trust. Understanding God's heart allows us to more readily entrust our worries to him. 
Our faith deepens as we observe his promises being fulfilled each day. A consistent dedication to pursuing him solidifies our connection with God, making it steadfast even amidst life's challenges. In a world brimming with noise, uncertainty and chaos, the daily pursuit of God serves as our steadfast anchor. His presence evokes a tranquility that transcends human understanding. In times of turmoil, a daily engagement with his word serves as a soothing remedy, reminding us that he is in command. Our spirits are uplifted and we are reminded of the grand design, his everlasting plan for us. This tranquility empowers us to confront challenges with bravery and optimism. Through each encounter, divine wisdom is shared. The world provides knowledge, yet it is God who imparts wisdom, enabling the correct application of that knowledge. By seeking him daily, we access this divine wisdom enabling us to understand situations and respond in ways that yield positive results. This insight serves not just our own interests, but also enriches the lives of those in our vicinity. It allows us to serve as guiding lights, providing wise counsel and effective solutions. Ultimately, pursuing God each day transcends a simple religious practice. It's essential to our very existence it maintains our connection to the essence of our strength, love and purpose. Each new sunrise presents us with a chance to connect more deeply, to engage fully and to be changed by the depth of his presence. Let us examine the Israelites as described in Exodus 16:13. Even in their wandering and feelings of being lost, they received daily provisions from God such as quail. The Bible states, that evening quail came and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. This serves as a reminder that God cares about our everyday challenges, our successes and all that lies in between. Are we occasionally confined by our previous achievements, believing that outdated approaches will address contemporary issues? One might reflect, this seems recognizable, I am equipped to manage this situation. King Solomon, in his wisdom, stated in Ecclesiastes 3.1, To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. This indicates that it is time to alter our methods and our approach. Our world is changing swiftly. Clinging to the past or allowing life to unfold without engagement can result in being left behind. Fortunately, God's mercies are renewed each morning. Lamentations 3.22-23 reminds us, Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are renewed each morning. Immense is your faithfulness. If you've been adhering to the same strategy for some time, it may be worth revisiting the guidebook. Maybe there is a new or different path that God wishes to explore in your life. Are you able to manage it? Paul reminds us in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let us prepare ourselves for transformation, renewed each day by his word and guided by the Holy Spirit. Ultimately, the journey of life is not merely about adhering to familiar paths. It is about the continuous direction from the one who possesses the greatest understanding. As we journey through the twists and turns, Keep in mind that we possess the finest guidebook available to us. Let us explore and seek his guidance. Your celestial guide is ready for you every day. Seeking God's guidance is of utmost importance. Engage in conversation with God initially. Recall the story of the Israelites and the golden calf as detailed in Exodus 32, 1-4. The scripture states, and when the people noticed that Moses was taking longer to descend from the mountain, they assembled themselves around Aaron and said to him, Come, make us gods to lead us. For as for this Moses, the man who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has happened to him. And Aaron spoke to them, Remove the golden earrings from the ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters, and bring them to me. And all the people took off the golden earrings that were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. 
He took what they offered and shaped it with a carving tool after he had created it into a molten calf. And they proclaimed, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. Here we observe that while Moses was on Mount Sinai, the Israelites became impatient instead of waiting and seeking guidance. They assumed control of the situation, leading to unfortunate choices. In a similar vein, when we encounter challenges, it isn't solely about pushing ahead. At times, it involves taking a moment to pause, reflect, and look for divine guidance. As stated in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your endeavors, recognize him and he will guide your journey. What if we paused for a moment to seek guidance from God instead of rushing into action? Looking for his guidance can help us avoid unnecessary conflicts and choices we may come to regret later. Consider David, a man who embodies the essence of God's heart. Despite conquering Goliath and numerous adversaries, he never presumed to have all the answers. Prior to each significant battle or decision, he sought guidance from the Lord. What motivated David to take this action? Hadn't he already proven himself as a skilled warrior? Indeed, he understood that the perspective of God held far greater worth than his previous experiences. In our lives, we may find ourselves thinking, I've experienced this before, I can handle it. Mm. However, akin to David, we ought to keep in mind that each challenge, although it may appear similar, possesses its distinct characteristics. Seeking divine guidance helps us align our actions with his intentions, rather than relying on our own assumptions. Next, we encounter the cautionary story of Joshua and the cunning Gibeonites, found in chapters 9 and 10 of Joshua. Their deception allowed them to seem like allies from a distance, yet in truth, they were nearby neighbors. If only Joshua had pursued divine guidance, their misstep would have saved them years of unforeseen partnerships and difficulties. What lessons can we draw from this? Things are not always what they appear to be. The world offers us remarkable opportunities that, without divine guidance, could easily become mere illusions. You may be familiar with the phrase, all that glitters is not gold. This brings to mind a humorous tale about two women who confused a rat for a chihuahua. It appeared harmless, even delightful, yet a deeper look unveiled its true essence. Before we welcome situations, or chihuahuas, into our lives, let's ensure they are truly as they seem. A brief moment of reflection with our Heavenly Father can prevent many sorrows. My friends, as we journey through the expansive terrain of life, let us keep in mind the importance of seeking God each day, not only in the major choices, but also in the smaller, often overlooked moments. In any business endeavor, new relationship, or even a challenge that feels familiar, the guidance of God is crucial. If you have been depending only on your knowledge and experiences, it might be time to consider a shift. Today, I encourage you to pursue new insights, a daily connection with God. I trust that this will allow God to guide your steps, protect you from obstacles, and direct you toward a future abundant with His blessings and grace. Now to everyone listening, let us come together in prayer to the Lord. Please join me in this prayer so that you may receive all the blessings it offers. Heavenly Father, I come before you this morning with a heart full of gratitude. Thank you for the gift of this new day, a fresh opportunity to walk in your light and live according to your will. As the sun rises, so do my thoughts and desires to seek you first in all I do. Before the busyness of the day consumes me, I pause to acknowledge that you alone are my source of wisdom, guidance, and strength. Lord, I ask for your divine direction today. I know that without you, I can do nothing of lasting value. I surrender my plans, my agenda, and my desires before you, and I ask that you align my heart with yours. Guide my steps, 
my words, and my thoughts, so that I may walk in a way that honors you. Show me where to go, how to serve, and who to love today. I trust that you know the path I should take even when I cannot see what lies ahead. Help me, Father, to quiet the distractions around me and listen for your still, small voice. The world is full of noise and temptation, but I long to hear you above all else. Remind me that your plans for me are good, even when they differ from my own. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path, and I cling to it in trust and faith. Help me to be sensitive to your leading in the small decisions as well as the big ones, knowing that you care about every detail of my life. Father, I also pray for courage to follow wherever you lead. Sometimes the way you show me may be difficult or uncertain, but I know that you go before me and prepare the way. Give me the faith to trust you completely, even when the path is unclear. When I am weak or afraid, remind me of your promises and of your presence that never leaves nor forsakes me. As I go through this day, help me to reflect your love and grace in all I do. Let my actions be a testimony of your goodness. Use me as your vessel to bless others, to bring hope and to show kindness. Keep me humble and remind me that it is not about my will, but yours being done. Lord, I ask for wisdom in every decision I face today, big or small. Give me discernment to know what is from you and what is not. Guard my heart from confusion, impatience and fear. I know that your timing is perfect, so help me to wait patiently on your direction, even when I feel rushed. Teach me to trust in your sovereignty, knowing that you hold all things in your hands. As I seek you this morning and throughout the day, let my life be one that reflects constant dependence on you. Help me to stay focused on the things that matter to your heart and to let go of anything that pulls me away from you. Thank you, Father, for being the constant source of guidance and wisdom in my life. I commit this day to you, trusting that as I seek you first, you will lead me down paths of righteousness for your name's sake. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. If this message resonated with you, please type Amen in the comments section below. I proclaim that all the blessings of this prayer are now bestowed upon you in the name of Jesus. We invite you to assist us in reaching a wider audience and sharing the gospel by passing this video along to a friend or family member who could benefit from this prayer and by clicking the like button. Additionally, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will inspire and lift your spirit. We are grateful for everyone who stands by us. You are fortunate to be a source of goodness for others. We invite you to share your prayer requests in the comments section, allowing us to bring them before God for your blessings and triumph. We invite fellow believers on the YouTube platform and across the globe to join us in prayer for you at this very moment. We want to assure you that even if you don't receive a response to your prayer request, it does not imply that you were not included in our prayers. We are diligently bringing each request before God, aligning with His will. We hold a strong conviction in the ability of prayer to provide solace, restoration and direction in alignment with God's flawless design. Join us in faith as we pray together. Hey, all glory belongs to God. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all accompany you all